So uh, last last week, a great a great trumpet player called Ronnie Hughes passed away. Yeah. Now Ronnie was fantastic, and we this the first time I ever met Ronnie, he came up to Scotland, and he would, he had been brought there by a guy called Ian Sutherland, who was um, uh, a Scottish conductor, and he said, "I'm bringing my own soloist to Scotland to, to Glasgow." Which meant that Dave McClellan, the first trumpet, was out of work for the day. He had no work. We weren't on staff then. You only got paid when you worked, you know. So I met Ronnie about court. The session started at 10. I met Ronnie at 10. Oh, I'm, hello, Ronnie. I'm Gordon. And um, uh, just at that minute, Dave has got a brown studio attendant's gown on and a, and a brush, and he's sweeping the studio. <laughs> and... Um, he, he gets across beside Ronnie and Ronnie's going, oh, it's Dave. And he said, uh, could you lift your feet, sir? I need to sweep <laughs> under him. Sweeping. And off he goes. In the, in the morning break, we had a key to this, uh, a backdoor key to this hotel and the bar. So Ronnie said, where are we going? I said, oh, come on, we'll go out here. And at this key, the back door, into the hotel bar. Dave's behind the bar in a white shirt and a dicky bow. He was the barman. <laughs> Lunchtime, he was outside the BBC club uh, with one leg tucked up behind him and um, some medals on <laughs> and, a, and a tray, a tray selling matches outside the BBC club. <laughs> Unbelievable. But the final thing was, um, there was the Carol Kidd, who I mentioned earlier on, a, a great Scots singer, um, her husband was a taxi driver in Glasgow <laughs> and they were going to get the taxi. <laughs> Ronnie was going to get a taxi from the BBC studios to the airport and Dave was going to drive it, you know. <laughs> well, at that time, you couldn't let him near the, the car, you know. You, way, he, was Ronnie. he was a fantastic guy and a wonderful player. Wonderful trumpet player. Cool.